Hi, I'm Carl Winkler with Electrosonics here at NAB 2018, and uh, it's already starting off to be an exciting show for us. Uh, just last fall, we introduced the SM Wideband series. That's the latest transmitters in the long SM series line that's been on the market since 2005. So what's new about these is, of course, the wideband tuning. That's the three-block tuning, like some of the other products we've been introducing in the last couple of years. Also, they've got the new display. It's more like the LT style, uh, LCD, so a lot more information than display. Infrared sync, which makes it real easy and quick to set these units up. And then onboard recording on micro SD in dot wave format. So these are a very powerful new unit. And uh, the only difference really between the two units is that we've got the dual battery unit if you're looking for the longer battery runtime. And then we've got the single battery unit which uh, is more compact, like the SMV, and that's the SM Wideband, or SMWB units. So these are the units here, and as I mentioned, there's the, the, the display with lots of information about whether it's transmitting or not, battery level, frequency, and uh, which block it's in. What's nice about these two is that using the uh, RM app uh, or the, uh, the PDR remote, you can still change the functions like uh, audio gain, uh, transmitter, power, uh, frequency with the remote app using it on your phone. You can also stop and start the recording function. So let's say you're about to do a scene that you realize that someone's going to get into an elevator or go out of range, start the recording with your app. You can still see the RF carrier on your receiver and you can still monitor your battery level. So you still have a confirmation that the unit's working, the batteries are still good. Meanwhile, it's recording the audio directly onto the card. Then you can stop the recording and it begins to transmit audio again. So these units are, again, very flexible and powerful. And that's our latest product. But also, just briefly, I want to talk about the, uh, the Duet system. This is the new digital in-ear or IFB system that we introduced last year at NAB. It's become very popular already for TV studios as an IFB system because it, uses, it accepts Dante inputs and it also uses half the number of RF carriers uh, for your IFB system versus an analog system. And the you know, number of RF carriers has become more and more important issue with the loss of spectrum. So that's the Duet IEM or IFB system. Again, Carl Winkler here at Electrosonics. If you're looking for more information on these products or any Electrosonics product, check out uh, electrosonics.com on the website. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and we've got a Facebook group uh, for all these products if you're looking to get a little more information or engage in a conversation with us. So lots of ways to reach us, and uh, thanks for watching.